this is the tutorial for my Presto portal. First, let's see how to download it. Go to your browser. Here I am using Safari. Go to Google. And type. I press the portal, download. Go to my Presto version 5 download page. This is in Japanese. So if you want to see it in English, click here English. Just change it to the English version. So my Presto is medicinally yielding protein engineering simulator. So it is a program suit composed of several molecular simulations for drug development. And this page is for downloading pre program My Presto newest version. So, My Presto is basically a program suit of face programs that uses command line interface like post chain, side chain, omega chain, and others. But in this tutorial, we are going to use My Presto portal. It is a graphic user interface program of My Presto called My Presto portal. It can be used on Windows, Mac, and Linux, and it uses the programs of my Presto. So download it. First, click on download. If you are an existing user, you can log in. If you are a new user, you can click here to register. In register your details click register and then you can go to download page but since i already have an account so i will log in so let's go back This opens the download page. Here you have all the documents of my Presto 5 programs, my Presto portal download links, and the download links of other my Presto programs. So to download my Presto portal for Windows, you can use this link. For Mac, you can use this link. And for Linux, you can use this link. It also has an install manual here. There's instructions on how to install it for specific systems like Windows, Linux, and Mac. You can also download this instruction manual. So here it's downloaded. So since I have already downloaded and installed my Presto portal, I will not do it again. So let's close it. So now let's start the tutorial. So this is the tutorial of using my Presto portal for molecular dynamics and molecular docking. So this video shows an example of using my Presto portal to perform molecular docking of a protein and a small ligand and molecular dynamic simulation of the protein ligand complex. First, let's open the my Presto portal. This is my Presto portal. Let's open it. This is the My Presto portal. It has many views like tree view, lagging view, man view, 3D view, 
JV console, running console, and the information that is console, docking info, and MD analysis. First, let's open the PDB. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to use the PDB ID to BAT. This is a complex of neuraminidase protein of the influenza virus and its substrate sialic acid. And I will also download oseltamivir from PubChem and use it as a docking molecule to dock it to the neuraminidase. After obtaining the docked complex of neuraminidase oseltamivir, I am going to use it to perform molecular dynamics. First, let's open the PDB. Go to File, Open Remote MMCIF PDB, and it will open this window. So you can write the PDB ID to BAT and click OK. So this will download the PDB from Protein Data Bank and load it on my Presto portal. Now the PDB is open. First, let's save the project. So go to File, Save As. Go to desktop, create new folder, then give it any name. Here I'm using my Bresto portal tutorial. And click create. Now my Presto portal tutorial folder is created. Now open it, click open. So now as you have noticed, the name is changed to my Presto portal tutorial, so the project is saved. Now let's start with docking. First, let's delete the unnecessary molecules. So as you can notice here, this PDB has many molecules like water, metal, ligands and protein. So let's delete the unnecessary molecules. Click on what 9 and delete molecule. Click on met 8 and delete molecule. Now there are many ligands here. So to check which one is the sialic acid, let's select it. As you can see, leg 7 is in the ligand pocket, so it's the sialic acid. So apart from leg 7, let's delete all the other molecules. Select leg 2, create, click delete molecule. You can also select multiple molecules at a time, so select leg 3, press the shift key. Then click click 6. So all the molecules are selected. Now click delete molecule. So as you have noticed, when we select a molecule, then this color changes. So if I select row 1, it color changes to yellow screen. If I select leg 7, it color changes to yellow screen. If you want to cancel the selection, then click anywhere. Or you can also click here, select none. Now 
now let's prepare the protein pro one for docking so the file imported from protein data bank contains the atomic coordinates determined with x-ray crystallography but these atomic coordinates do not include coordinates of hydrogen atoms in addition some parts near the tips of the side chains may be missing for a small number of missing atoms, my Presto portal can be used to compensate for the missing atoms. If an amino acid residue is missing over several residues, it cannot be compensated. So if you select row 1 and click add hydrogens, the hydrogen atoms and the missing atoms will be added. But to see it more clearly, let's do a little preparation here to make it easier to see. First, let's hide leg 7. So, right click on leg 7 and hide atom. Now, leg 7 is hidden. Next, let's change the display of Pro 1. So, select Pro 1, go to the display menu in the menu bar go to stick and click on now the stick all the molecules are now all the amino acid residues are in the stick display but the color is based on the secondary structure type Let's change it to the atom type. Select Pro 1, go to color menu, atoms, CPK. Now all the atoms are colored by atom type, but the color of the cartoon display is also changed. So let's bring it back. Go to color, cube ribbon cartoon structure so now the cartoon display is colored based on the secondary structure type and the stick display is colored based on the atom type so now let's enlarge this view to see it more clearly so select Pro 1, go to Option menu and click Center. So now the view is enlarged to fit this 3D view. Next, let's add hydrogens. So select Pro 1, click on Add Hydrogens. So this added all the hydrogen atoms and also the missing atoms. Now let's hide the sick display. Go to select Pro 1, go to display menu, stick off. So now the protein is ready for docking. Let's uh, show the leg 7 again. So select leg 7, right click on leg 7 and show atom. So leg 7 is displayed here now. Next, let's load the docking molecule that is the oseltamivir. So click on add remote compound here. Go select PubChem and the compound ID that is 449381. And from here select 3D and click OK. Now it will ask you for the position of the 
ligand. If you select file, then it will be placed anywhere in the 3D view. But if you choose mouse, then you can select your own position. So let's click mouse and click near the protein. So now the oseltamivir will be is loaded here as ligate here also. Now let's prepare it for docking. So select ligate and first enlarge its view to see it more clearly. So select ligate, go to option, center. Now, first, let's add hydrogens. So it already has hydrogen atoms, but to add the hydrogen atoms at correct positions, let's add it again. So select ligate, click add hydrogens. So now the optimal hydrogen atoms are added. Next, let's add the partial charge. So for the ligand, it is necessary to calculate the partial charge for each atom. So select ligate, click partial charge. This will give you four options. Castager, MOPEX7 AM1, MOPEX7 PM3, and MOPEX7 AM1 BCC. So the left one here is easier and takes less time and the one on the right is more detailed and takes more time to calculate so select mopac 7 am1 bcc and click ok now partial charge is added so you can see the status of the calculation when you see here program is done normally or here and partial charge. Next, let's optimize the structure. So to optimize the structure of the ligand, select a gate and click here, clean geometry. So here you have three options, not fix, only ligate molecule and neighborhood, neighborhood atoms. Fixed position selected atoms in ligate molecule. So here we are going to use the whole ligate molecule. So here we select not fix and click OK. So now the ligate geometry is optimized and it is ready for docking. Let's click Pro 1 in center again. So click on Pro 1 option center now that both protein and the ligand are ready to be docked let's start with the docking so first we are going to create the points so in my Presto portal, points are generated to specify the site where the ligand is to be docked. These points are used for initial placement of the ligand for docking. In other words, the ligand pose is generated where some atoms of the ligand overlap with some points which are prepared by user. And the search for the best docking pose starts from there. So here I will use the atoms of this ligand, like 7. As the points so first change to dock tab so here dock this is the dock tab then select click 7 and click here make pocket so you will see a red ball like this and point 9 will be created here at the same time so the pocket is created 
to see it more clearly. Let's hide the link 7. So link 7, right click, hide atom. So now the pocket points are visible more clearly. So this will be used to specify the site. This is just for initial placement and the final docking pose will be generated in the region within a certain distance away from these points. The next step is to select the receptor molecule to be docked. So select Pro1 and click select receptor molecule. So now you can see that here receptor is added so pro1 is the receptor now now it's time to do the docking so let's select docking so here you will be asked how to select the ligand to be docked you have two choices one is to select a ligand from the tree or 3d view so this is the tree view and this is the 3D view. In the choice above, choose one of the ligands from either of these places. The choice below will read the molecules from the file. So we will choose the top one here. Now click, so select one ligand in 3D view and click OK. So now it will ask to select a ligand molecule and press OK. So let's select ligate and click OK. Now set the docking parameters. So the number of candidate molecules or the number of top poses to be displayed and whether to do the clustering. So if clustering is checked, you need the repetitive representative pose of the cluster will be displayed within the docking poses clustered. Uncheck the clustering option here and then all the 30 docking poses will be up will appear. So when clustering poses that are close to each other will not be displayed. So in this tutorial we want to see all the 30 docked poses. So we'll uncheck the clustering. So let's uncheck it and click OK. So you can see that the calculation is in progress in this area. The first step is to create the grid. In order to speed up the calculations, grids are created. After that, calculations are made as to how the proteins and ligands should be arranged. Next, local energy minimization will be done for the candidate docking poses. So in the current calculation parameters, the calculation will be performed until the number one here, displayed here, which is 100. When the calculation is finished, the result will be displayed here where the text information appears now. You can see that the status is displayed here and docking has been started. For longer calculations, you can know the status of the calculation by looking at this region. To stop the calculation, click on the icon here. So move the cursor. So move the cursor over it and the word stop task will appear. So the stop task is appear. So if you click it, the half calculation will be stopped. So you can use this dock tab here. 
button to dock one or a few ligands but if you want to do more then you can use the screening but for that you have to prepare the compound library beforehand This docking calculation will take some time to finish. So now the docking calculation is finished and these are the results for each docking force you can see the delta G value that is the binding free energy value for that docked force, this dock score or the docking score, the weight is the molecular weight of the ligand, SC is synthetic accessibility that is how easily the ligand can be synthesized experimentally and RMST is the root mean square displacement value it displays how far the ligand is displayed is displaced from its original position so it is very high here because the ligand was away from the receptor ligand pocket so to see all the results in this window let's short it okay. now you can notice that there are no docking poses in the 3d view but if you select a line from this list a docking pose will appear and if you click on a different line a different docking pose will appear if you select multiple poses then they will be displayed simultaneously and selecting wall one will show one docking pose after that you can Add a second one to the display by holding the control and placing another one. So now two poses are displayed simultaneously. So here in this list, this top one has a top ranked pose with the highest docking score and the bottom one is the lowest strength pose with the lowest docking score so you can see that by just a slight difference in score it can make a big difference this means that even a slight shift in the molecules that properly form a complex can make this much difference so 
So this is the procedure for docking. So next we will add the highest dock pose, highest ranking dock pose. So right click on the highest ranking dock pose and add selected docking result. So this will add it as select four. Now we don't need leg two and the point three, so we can delete it. So let's first delete leg two, select leg two and delete molecule. Next, select point three and delete molecule. Now the docking is finished and this is the docked complex of neoamidines or sertamivir or pro one leg 4 Next we can proceed with the dynamics. So let's go to dynamics tab. So here we are going to use implicit solvent molecular dynamics. So we are not going to use the solvate here. Solvate is used to add the, sol add the water molecules and ions and use the explicit, explicit solvent method. But here we are going to use the implicit solvent method. Uh, using implicit solvent method will reduce the number of total, mole total atoms and hence it will reduce the computation time. So in this tutorial, we are going to use the implicit solvent method. So in the dynamics, molecular dynamics circulation, first we do we do the minimization to minimize the energy of the complex, and next we do the dynamics. So first, let's click on the global minimize. This will ask for the minimization parameters. First, let's reduce the step to 500 for both min 1 and min 2. So, the minimization is done in two steps. Minimization 1 here is represented as min 1, and minimization 2 as min 2. Minimization 1 uses the steepest descent algorithm. And also, we are going to use the generalized bond method. So let's check this. Next, let's click on min2. Min2 is going to use the conjugate gradient algorithm. And also, we are going to use the generalized bond method. So let's check it. So first, the minimization will be done using the steepest descent algorithm. And next, it will switch to the, to the conjugate gradient algorithm. So next, let's click OK. So now the minimization is started. You can see here, start global minimize. We'll first perform the steepest descent algorithm. Here it says steep for 500 steps. Next, it will going to use the conjugate gradient algorithm. So it says here conjugate. So 
open the GUID algorithm may start it. It will again be done for 500 steps. Now the minimization is ended, it says here and global minimize. Next let's start the dynamics calculation. So click on global dynamics. It will ask for the dynamics parameters. So we, for this tutorial we are going to reduce the step to 1000. The ensemble used is NVTS ensemble. And we are going to use the generalized bond method. So let's click on generalized bond. The initial temperature is 300 Kelvin and the constant temperature will also be 300 Kelvin. No progestin restraint is used. Sake algorithm is used for hydrogen atom bond. Time step is 2 pm per second. And the cutoff length is 14 angstrom. To calculate the output trajectory, the results are displayed every 200 steps here. But to see more output trajectories, more frames of, in output trajectories, let's reduce it to 20. Now we can see 50 frames in the output trajectory. Next let's click OK. Now the global dynamics is started. It says here start global dynamics. It will be done for a thousand steps. And after the dynamic circulation is finished, the results will be displayed here. So now the global dynamics is ended. So here you can use this to see the changes in trajectory. If you want to save the animation, so click here, save animation. ask for the delay time so let's use the default and click ok and it will ask for the name so let's use my best portal tutorial this will save it in the project folder my best portal tutorial folder let's click save
now the animation is saved and we can also check other parameters like energy and temperature so if we click on energy this is the change in energy over the trajectory so here kinetic energy displayed in red is constant and the total energy displayed in blue and potential energy displayed in green is changing and it has slowly reduced and if we do it for if we do the trajectory for more longer time then it will reach an equilibrium after some time let's close it next let's check the temperature this is the change in temperature over the trajectory as you can notice the change is over a very narrow range so the temperature is maintained for, for about 300 kelvin throughout the trajectory let's close it so as you have noticed there are some uh, options we cannot use it here because this is a free version so it's a limited version so if you want to use all the options uh, of the mypresto portal then you have to buy the paid version So this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you gained the basic knowledge of how to use MyPresto portal to perform molecular docking and molecular dynamics simulation. Thank you. Also, this is the MyPresto portal tutorial project we just saved for MyPresto portal. If you open this folder, so these are all the files that we saved and it, we will require it if you want to open this project again on my Presto portal and it also has the my Presto portal tutorial GIF file that we saved, the animation that we saved. So if you want to open it. There are two ways. First is you just open it with Google Chrome. And if you want to see the animation again, you just press the reload button here. And the second method is you first open the Google Chrome and just drag and drop this file here. And again, if you want to see the animation again, press the reload button. You can also open this GIF file with any other GIF app and you can also use it for your presentations if you want to use it so you can directly copy paste it on the presentation file or the presentation slides and it will work as a normal animation. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you.